on the official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. One year ago yesterday, college athletes in Illinois could finally start making money off their name, image, and likeness. Very little has stayed the same since then, and the Illinois Athletic Department and athletes are still trying to navigate the new way of life. WCIA 3's Bryce Beeman has more on how the NIL has impacted Illinois this past year. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to have me as an instructor one day. One year since NIL was signed into law in Illinois, the only thing consistent about it has been inconsistency. Really exciting because we know that it's going to change. I think that's one thing about NIL we have learned in this year is that no one knows everything about it. Cam Cox is the director of the Influence Program in Illinois, helping athletes navigate name, image, and likeness. Cox goes over the deals brought to him by athletes. Health riots. They've been going the extra mile for Illinois for over 40 years. I think it's also introduced a lot in terms of business and financial literacy, which is an important part to kind of being an emerging adult. That gets me really, really excited. Um, the fact that our student athletes are able to make a little bit of money is also really, really cool. Hell. Athletes have taken advantage of it. Athletic Director Josh Whitman says Illini athletes have engaged in more than 400 NIL transactions. 35% of those total transactions have been women. About half have been football and men's basketball. Technical foul, no running in the pool. It's still ongoing. We're still feeling our way through all that process, but it's, uh, it's one that um, uh, I'm excited about to see how it, how it keeps manifesting itself. Men's basketball head coach Brad Underwood says players have had to get agents at a young age, but says he likes that his team has the opportunity to make money off their brand. And for former Illini players like Kofi Coburn, he was able to make big numbers through his name. But when it came down to it, the money wasn't worth stopping his dream. I always been on myself, you know, like, like I said earlier, I wouldn't put a price on my dream. And you know, for, for me to go back to college and knowing that I think I'm ready right now, or I know that I'm ready right now, that would be putting a price on my dream, basically. Looking back to one year later and how much things have changed, coaches, players, and administration are staying on their toes to see what will happen next. Reporting for your Illini Nation, I'm Bryce Beeman, WCIA 3 Sports.